Hey, how's it going? My name is Lauren May and welcome to this video. As you can see by the title, today is going to be a hairstyles for people who are trying to grow out their fringe. As you're about to see, I'm one of those people. I used to have a full frontal fringe right about here and I'm currently trying to grow that out. And so I hope this video is going to be helpful to those of you who are also growing out a fringe or you can try these out even if you don't want to grow out a fringe or you already have grown out a fringe because they're easy for you to do with longer hair or short shorter fringes as well. Also, I'd like to say, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really love to know that you liked it. Also, comment down below what hairstyles you like to do day to day. Please subscribe if you really want to see my face on the regular. So, uh, just keep on watching and uh, let's get into it. First how style, we are parting the hair straight down the middle and then we are taking small pieces from one side and putting one over the other in a little twist type action and as you continue to twist those you are adding hair from underneath and wrapping it over as you pull each over the top of each other. Now continue doing that until you get as far back of the head as you please and then what we're going to do is we're going to stop adding pieces of the hair and just continue down those strands like what's happening right now. I'm just twisting around the same strands and not adding any more and making sure none come in and so just continue down until you're far back enough around the head and now what I'm doing is just checking to see if that looks okay and then I'm adding a bobby pin to secure it in place. Um, just like that and then making sure that sits right and I can see a little um, bit that's sticking out so I'm adding another bobby pin and just putting that down back behind and making sure that the bobby pin is not seen but it's still securing the um, hair in place. And here I'm just uh, checking to see if it looks okay and adding any bobby pins that need to help secure it in any way um, just to make sure it stays there as long as possible. Now as you can see I'm just doing the exact same thing I just did on the other side of the hair just twisting it and adding twisting and adding until I get as far back as I please and then twisting without adding and then securing it with a bobby pin. So this is the finished hairstyle. Now you can leave it like this with your hair down or you can um, part your hair and put it in pigtails also and um, that looks nice but this is how I like to wear it and I wear this on the regular as well. Um, it's just a nice classic way to get your hair out of your face and for people not to really know how uh, long your fringe is. This next hairstyle, all you're going to do is grab the top part of your hair with your fringe and grab it all on top of your head as much as you can and grabbing as much as you can as you go, just making sure it looks neat here and putting it on top of my head, making sure that my fringe is in my hands and then just checking to make sure it's okay and that there's no hair pieces that are half in half out and so I'm going to get a hair tie. Um, like you can see this purple hair tie right there um, I'm going to put it on top of my head as far forward as I can and I'm just going to twist that around making sure that my fringe is definitely in this hair, hair tie and I just go around and around and pull my hair through there we go and then I'm just going to pull that tight now you can always leave your hairstyle like this but that kind of looks really funny so what we're going to do is we're going to take the little fringe bits and we're going to wrap them around the hair tie and then secure them with a bobby pin like so just popping in a bobby pin now so there that's how that looks you can either use that like that Or you can, instead of wrapping it around, you can take your fringy bits and then just pin it back behind your ponytail, like so. Just grabbing a bobby pin and then just pinning it back behind the ponytail. And then it will make sure that your ponytail stays on either side of your head so that it makes your hair look a little bit more fuller. The next hairstyle requires you to have a full side part where most of your hair is on one side of your head and then what we're going to do is we're going to start and take some small pieces and then start to braid that back towards the back of your head and what you're going to do is you're going to take three pieces and then take one from the outside and bring it underneath the middle one and then 
do the same on the other side is bring a piece and bring it underneath but as you're bringing it underneath you're grabbing some other hair from your head and bringing it into the middle too so your um, three pieces are getting slowly bigger and bigger and remember when you're taking a piece that's on the outside from the front of your face to bring your fringe pieces underneath the middle piece too so uh, remember to grab the pieces, pull it underneath and then grab the next piece from the other side and pull it underneath and you're slowly going to get a uh, braid looking thing that's going to go back behind your head. So here we go, we just continue to braid just under each side, under to the middle bring a piece, under to the middle bring a piece. It's a very tedious process but it's not that hard, it's just I have really long hair so it takes a little bit. And so continue to do that is just braid that um, far back and then when you get to a certain back at the back of your head all you have to do is plait that then so you're not adding any more pieces you're just plaiting that down the piece of your hair so now it's just three pieces and no more adding just three of them just going down your head um, that also takes a while because I have long hair just gonna go down flat 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 and that's just going under as well but without adding any pieces now that I'm at the end of my hair I'm just taking a hair tie and securing that uh, at the end of that plait and making sure that that doesn't come loose um, I think I'd used a little elastic but it's really whatever suits best for your hair and that just goes around a few times now we're just going to bobby pin some of the little flyaways and make sure that it um, doesn't poke out. Now that the braid is done you can either leave the hairstyle like this which is another common hairstyle that I do or you can um, take the braid separate from the rest of your hair and then bring all of the rest of your hair together at the back of your head and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around each other in a bun type thing. So here I'm just twisting and wrapping and then twisting and then wrapping. And then what I'm going to do is going to secure that with a hair tie which I've got there. And there we go. So now what I'm going to do is going to take the braid and I'm going to wrap that underneath and around the bun. So underneath and then secure with a bobby pin as you go around to make sure that it stays. So right there, bobby pin, wrap around, secure the bun and the plait to your head to make sure that it's all safe and secure on your head and it's not going to go anywhere. So that's what I'm just going to continue to do is just wrap the plait around my head and secure the bun and the plait to my head. And when you get to the end of your hair tie, um, just tuck it in under there and make sure that the little end bit is uh, not sticking out and secure that with a bobby pin as well so that it's all neat and tidy. And so there, just like add some extra bobby pins if you need to, but there you go, it's all done. You've got this nice big plait that wraps around into a bun and you can um, pull pieces out to make it thicker as well. Um, that's going to make a fuller, bigger braid looking thing. Um, but this is what I've done and I use this as well very regularly. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and learned a few hairstyles that are going to be handy for you growing out your fringe. And uh, remember, don't forget to hug someone today. Bye!